Yo, what it do? How is it going, man? How are y'all doing today? Hopefully everything is going well. As always, welcome back. We got another band of episode brothers. <laughs> what? Yo, what is going on, man? So we are back with another episode of Band of Brothers. We are on episode number three. I believe it's called Carrington. I think that's how you say it. I'm sorry if I'm saying it wrong. Um, Yes, Day of Days was the last episode. Uh, We were dropping into Normandy. Uh, D-Day, of course. Unfortunately, when they were be being transported to that, when they're, you know, in the aircraft, it went horribly wrong and we had to do an emergency exit and uh easy company and everybody else was pretty much scattered all over normandy and they were able to attack the enemy artillery and destroy some of their highly damaging weapons and there's a scene in the last episode where lieutenant winners C commander winners is being told listen you bring him back this enemy map is going to save so many lives is going to do so much damage to the enemy you know thank you for this you know you have no idea how, how important this is. he didn't say anything all he said was just uh, not even say anything he just gave him a nod and just went along his day because he knows the job ain't done he knows what he's gonna have to go through with his men to be able to go back home yeah that's pretty much it this is episode number three let's get into it hopefully you guys do enjoy it let's go i never thought i'd get through d-day mm. let alone the next phase or the next phase i thought i was going to get killed instantly i thought one of two things a quick death uh or I've come through probably without a scratch. I think everybody had fear. I think right. uh, there's people that can handle fear. It's a feeling mm. you, would, you would not let yourself down, and you would not let your comrades or your unit down. We all had fear, but we all had training to know that uh, you try to handle your fear and, and work to accomplish what you're supposed to be doing. Wow. Part three, Karen Tan. Hopefully I'm saying that right. So that's why I'm assuming that's why training. So June 8th, 1944, Normandy, France. That's why training is the way it is. To prepare yourself mentally, physically, emotionally. Like he said, you not only have to worry about yourself, you have to worry about your unit, you know, your team. This is a team effort. That's why communication has to be so key. Everybody has to be on point. Blythe. Hey, Blythe. I thought that was you. We haven't met Blythe before, right? You're the first familiar faces I've seen. I ain't surprised. They dropped us all over the Cottontown Peninsula. I've been there. Yeah, he's seen some things, man. I mean, everybody I'm has. Trying to find easy. Join the club. You can just tell the look of his eyes, the trauma. Get a load of this, nice, huh? Oh, oh like this? nice! That's a beauty. That nice. oh, My Luger is gonna put you all to shame when I get it. This dude with his Luger, man. <laughs> I respect it. How was your jump? Missed the DZ. Yeah, that goes without saying. That's the nation zone. That's what DZ means. I'm assuming. Got any souvenirs to trade? They're all ticket. Okay, buddy. Who, who's in command then? Winners. Winners for now. Lieutenant Welsh is first with two. Again, I, I'm learning as we go, right? How many men are in a unit or a platoon? What's the big difference? So where are we headed to, Lieutenant? Huh? We're taking Carentan. That sounds like Carentan. The Got only it. place okay. where armor from Omaha and Utah Beach can link up and head in. Hey, Another thing to remember, boys. Why spread disease? So keep yours closed. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Lies spread disease, so keep your eyes closed. <laughs> Jesus. Took me a second, but but I, I, I understood. <laughs> Again, it baffles me that this was made in 2001. Or at least released in 2001. Jesus, man. We lost that company, sir. Again? What do you mean again? Oh, lost them as it's just like they got lost, like in track. There he is. This is about officers crapping out on their training, Nix. Mmm. Commander Winners. Flash. Thunder. Thunder. Okay. I got it. Flash. Thunder. Is there a way of communicating? That's a way of making sure they can trust you, I guess. Hey, 
dead, private. Don't be sneaking up on him like that. Everybody's sneaking up over here. Dottie. Dottie Hadley. That's Edelweiss. Supposed to be the mark of a true soldier. Hmm. A mark of a true soldier. D Day plus six. Carantan, France. Cafe de Normandy. I wanted to take first, straight up the middle, hard fast. There's no cover. Like, that's just plain go. sight. Let's go first. Let's go. Go, go. Go. There it is. This is tense, man. Not even saying anything right now, really. Oh. Nice. Nice. God, I feel like I'm. I'm mm. I feel like I'm there, you know? Like. Wow. That grenade was huge. It really opened up, you know, for them to come in. They needed that. Oof. What an image right there that was. Hmm. He was going to throw a grenade in there. They got a zero! Spread it out! Spread it out! Get the hell out of there! What does that mean? Zeroed. Are they called an artillery strike or, or, or what? What happened? Oh my god. Right where it should be. Come on. That's probably the greatest thing that you can hear at that moment. Everything is right where it should be. Oh my God. Yeah, this episode is something else. You gotta sit down. Come here. Come on. Easy. Oh my God. There you go. There you go. Jesus. Oh my God. They're trying to run away, so that means that they, they were able to capture oh, Carrington. I'm here and I'm supposed to tell you that we got it clear from here all the way to the north of them crowds, sir. Ten and winner. Yes, sir. Is it safe to cross now? What's that, sir? Is it safe to cross? You want to move the wounded? Uh, yes, sir. Okay. You're waiting on your orders, Commander. Let me say the last word. He got hit? Yeah, he did. Oh. Well, you're lucky it was a ricochet. Are you going to be able to stay off it? Doesn't look that way. Well, you got to try, huh? Get him down, put some Have a good plan, Chief. 
Well, we expect a counterattack. Carrington's as important to them as it is to us. What's wrong with Blythe? Except he can't see. Oh, so that's what happened earlier. That's why he just went down. Like, yeah, see, I, I, I thought I was. I didn't want to say it, but I thought that's what happened. But he just went blind like that because of all the trauma, the stress. Blythe, it's Lieutenant Winters. What happened? Well, things it just kind of went black on me. Well, you just take it easy, Blythe. I'm gonna get you out of here. Get you back to England, sir. I didn't uh, want to let anyone down. Oh no 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 no. Did the opposite of that. Okay, son. Sir. You can see now. Thank you, sir. Uh, I'm okay. Temporary blindness must be a thing, right? You can see? I don't know what happened. I... Maybe all he needed was just a little bit of calmness that Commander Winters brings. You know, a sense of hope, de-stress. Enjoy it while it lasts. We'll be moving out soon. Out of town, Lieutenant. Already? Jesus. He's got that aura, that Not energy. Now, what? Real smart. You know you're taking your life in your own hands. Yeah, you don't mess with him. What, Spear shooting the prisoners or the sergeant in his own platoon? Sergeant? What? I didn't hear that Wait, wait, one. shot one of his own guys? I know a guy. Hey! Who said an <laughs> eyewitness told him that Spears posed those prisoners. What? We're full. On D-Day, he breaks out a pack of smokes, passes them out, even gives them a light. Then, all of a sudden, he swings up his Thompson. He hoses them. Damn. Relentless. It was more than eight guys. More like 20. All except one guy who we left alone. Oh, relentless. Hey, Albert, what do you think? I'm going to have to take care of everybody's word for it. Didn't see any of it. Plus, how far are we going? Oh, Jesus Christ. Until they tell us to stop. High ground. I'm saying that we're never in the middle. And we're the fifth of nine companies of this regiment. You see that? Fifth of nine. Contact right! The fifth of nine companies in this regiment. See what I mean? Ah. They don't have much cover either. Can't even see where they're shooting from. And they're still there all day, all night. I like how we're following the story of Blythe. Different perspective. What have they got to sing about? Flash! Thunder. I'm okay, sir. What happened to the aid station today? Dog Rowey. Call it hysterical blindness. Oh. Dehydration's a soldier's worst enemy. Mm. Yeah. Hysterical blindness. Yeah. Gotta search that up after That's this is done. We're... Nothing but a game. What is sir? This. The whole thing. Yeah, maybe to you it is, but. S2 said the Germans only left a company to defend Carrington. Yeah. The rest pulled out sometime last night. I knew that town was too easy. May have been on their way to a counterattack when we ran into them here. Oh. They want the town back. We're in their way. If they don't come before them, we're attacking at first light, 0530. I'll survive. How is it? Hurts. But he's there. War is hell. In combat. War is hell. Sleeping on the job. Come on. It's one of us. Hey, 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 relax, 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 relax. Ah. What the hell are you doing? That's Talbert. Oh, he got him? Gosh. Medic! I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. He looked like a crowd. Can't even sleep in peace, man. This guy can't even sleep at all. He's seen, he's been through so much. You want to get some sleep? I don't think, I don't think I can. I don't think I can. Then go take a look. And now he's left alone sleeping. Boom. He could be done right there. Flash. Thunder. Thunder. Lieutenant Spears, sir. Where are you going, Private? 
Check out the moisture. I just came from there. Everything's under control. Got some nervous privates in your company. I can vouch for that. You just don't see how simple it is. Simple? Simple what is, sir? Oh. How simply things can change in a matter of seconds. Lieutenant, sir, when I landed on D-Day, I found myself in a ditch all by myself. When I woke up, I didn't really try to find my unit to fight. I just... Stood there. I just kind of stayed put. What's your name, Trooper? Bly, sir. Albert Bly. Albert Bly. You know why you hid in that ditch, Bly? I was scared. We're all scared. I was hopeful. You hid in that ditch because you yeah. think there's still hope. Yeah. The only hope you have is to accept the fact that you're already dead. Oh. And the sooner you accept God. that, the sooner you'll be able to function as a soldier's supposed to function. Without mercy, without compassion, without remorse. All war depends upon it. Oh my gosh. Gotta accept the fact that you're already dead. No remorse. All war depends on that. D-Day plus seven outskirts of Carantan. Wow. But how do you even do how do you even accept the fact that you are already dead? It might be easy for you to say that, but everyone handles fear differently. Remember what was said in the beginning. I always wondered how they were able to get the coordinates for like that mortar strike right there or I'm guessing they use a scope like to measure the length come on Blythe Oh my god, no. Jesus. Sir, the dog and fox are pulling back. What? Who gave that order? God. I mean, order or not, it's just a fact of survival, no? I get you gotta stand your ground, but but then again, it is an order. If you if you if your if the order was to stay put, I mean, you gotta stay. I don't know. I don't know. The sound effects, the camera work, it's done very well. Oh my god. Jesus. Right in the open? You have to do what has to be done, right? That just ricocheted off that. I did no damage. Oh my god. Run! Oh. Nice. I'm really liking the different perspectives. Oh my god, they just have too many. They don't stop. Ah. Those screams right there. Oh, yes, sir. Look at that smile. Finally, a bit of hope. I don't know 
know why I jumped. And that was probably the hardest thing that he has ever done to this day. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy, you okay? Looks like you fellas had a heck of a fight. Thanks, man. The fact that he was able to pick up that gun, aim, shoot, and kill that man. You don't have the shit that he has gone through. The innocence. You don't want to kill anybody, man. He feels something for them. For everybody. D-Day plus 25. The fact that he was able to pick up that weapon shows you how strong Blythe really is. Need to take a look at that farmhouse. Who wants to go? Ain't nobody trying to volunteer. I'll go. Blythe. Come a long way, Blythe. Taking lead and everything now. Okay. Here we go again. Covering fire! Covering fire! Go, go! Cease fire! Cease fire! Take it easy, Blythe. That white stuff is to. Is the the bleeding correct? They're pulling us off the front line. Oh my god! You couldn't uh, all that was for nothing, for nothing. No, oh, ho ho ho! Uh. Talk to Colonel Sink. Said he appreciated easy holding the line. Oh. Said General Taylor was pleased. Mm. Oh yeah. <laughs> That's why I came to France. <laughs> to please. Please, General <laughs> Taylor. In grateful acknowledgement of the blood shed in the service of your country, it is my honor to present you with the Order of the Purple Heart. Yeah. The Order of the Purple Heart. Oh, it's Blythe. Oh, he made it. You have no shame. Hey, I got one hole on my shoulder. A second in my calf, then there's the boil on my shin that had to be lanced. He only gets one. Mm. And look at how he ended up. And he only gets one, he says. That's how we started. By him looking up in the sky. Dana. Do you guys have any idea what he's talking about? The night of the bayonet? The Knight of the Bayonet. Grab this rifle, he did not tear it. Oh, he's great too. Kill. Looks like he's fine. Oh, God, what's going on now? It's me, cried Tab. Don't do it. And yet, Smith charged too sweet with bayonet. Since you weren't wounded by the enemy and thus didn't qualify for a Purple Heart, we've taken wow. matters into our own hands. Tab, this is for you. Yeah. A couple of announcements, men. <laughs> First, listen up. First, the training exercise scheduled for 2200 has been canceled. We're heading back to France. Oh. Just pack up all your gear. We will not be returning to England, boys. Hello. They were about to go home. <clears throat> Hello? Actually, it's Sergeant Malarkey now, ma'am. I just got promoted. Ooh, lovely. Nice. Sergeant Malarkey. Uh, two shirts, two pairs of trousers, light start. Do you uh, like a cup of tea? I've got the water boiling. No, no, thank you. I'm in a hell of a bit of a hurry. <laughs> Watch your language, but, uh, buddy. Thank you anyway. Oh, um, private. Yes, ma'am. Lieutenant Leon's one of yours, isn't he? I hope he hasn't forgotten his laundry. Oh, never made you, it back, um, huh? You couldn't be a dear help me with a few others, could you? Oh. Uh, let's see, Sergeant Evans. Private Moya. The people that never made it back, huh? Blythe. Blythe. By the time Easy Company was pulled off the line on June 29, they had lost 65 men. Albert Blythe never recovered from the wounds and received Norm Normandy. 1980. 1948. 
God damn it, man. So that right there was episode number three, Karen Tan. We went into the perspective of a soldier, a private of Belith. Albert Belith, I think that was his first name. And yeah, how he struggled to cope with, with war, with violence. You know, and up until the end, he kind of understood he had to cope with uh, the reality of war. Remember, he was told you have to accept the fact that you are already dead. Yeah, this was a, a, one of those episodes, especially at the beginning where they were taking over Carrington. Man, phew. this 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 series really does portray what war really is about. Yeah, I'm probably going to do my research of what the main difference is between like the, the platoons. You got a unit, you got a regiment, all, all these. I mean, if you guys can help me out. That would be great. I'll probably do a little bit of research for the next episode. Yeah, like I said before, I really like the different perspectives that we are getting. We're not just following Easy Company. I mean, we kind of are, but not just solely them and Lieutenant Win uh, Commander Winners and, and, and his men. We're joining in with different perspectives of different platoons and units. And so, yeah, that's pretty much all I got to say. Hopefully you guys did enjoy uh, please take care of yourselves. If you guys got any more recommendations, please let me know down in the comments. Trust me, I'm taking notes. I'm making a list of what you guys are recommending me. Uh, thank you guys so much for the support. As always, take care of yourselves. Be easy. Stay safe. Peace and love. Vamanos.